Hi, this is part one in a series of screencasts showing the live events feature in Qt Sound. So first, uh, you need to open the live events controller, which you can find here, on the view menu, or you can call it by pressing Alt-6 by default. Of course, you can change this in the uh, keyboard shortcut settings. So this is the live event controller, where you will have a list of all your live event sheets. So I'm going to create a new sheet. There we go. As you can see, now I have a new, a new line here in the live events controller and a new live event sheet. You can set the name. For example, let's call it theme one. And it will show up on the, on the sheet itself. So um, live event sheets are designed to send uh, score events to C sound. So I'm going to uh, run this uh, CSD file and I'm going to call up the live event sheet. You can see C sound is running and I'm going to send an event, for example, an I event for instrument one, start at time zero for two seconds and you can start adding P fields. For this CSD file in particular, the first P field is MIDI note and the second, I think it's not used, but let's just put 100 in case it's MIDI velocity. So if you right click on that line, you can say send events. And the event will be played by C sound. You can of course use the shortcut, which is shift return to send it. Um, you can add more lines by doing append row or append rows. Let's add five more rows. You can of course copy paste this here. And let's say from time one and play note 64. So if you stand on this line and press shift return, it will take a second to play that note because this in effect is offset from the moment you send it. You can also select two of them. You can select on any, anywhere. You don't have to select, select the whole thing. Just make sure your, your, the rows you want are selected and send them. There you go. So this is the basis of the live event sheets. I'll do a couple of more screencasts to show you all the power of these uh, feature. Thanks. Bye.